G'day. We're going to have a look into a new product that Dell are extremely proud of in 2024, and that is the Dell Latitude 7350 Detachable. This is a 13-inch tablet-style computer which actually has a detachable keyboard cover and also has a digital-style support, which is garage in at the back, which is hidden right near the hinge area, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's kind of like a Surface Pro. Now, Dell have also created a traditional laptop style in the Dell Latitudes 73 series, and it's called the Ultralight. Now, I've actually reviewed that particular product on particular link in the description below if you want to follow that review. Now, I'll also be creating a follow-up view about the comparison between the Ultralight and the detachable, so you can get an idea on which one to assist you to which one you want to purchase. Now, a few years back, I have reviewed also the Latitude 70. 320, which is its predecessor detachable, and it definitely made some big improvements on compared to its predecessor on this Latitude 7350. One of the major ones is the thermal solutions. And I will be talking about temperature and fan noise in this review video. And there are other new features in this Latitude 7350 we go later on in this video. And as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to a different section you may be interested to save you time. Now, first off, we're going to start with the specs. The other process of wise, it is using the new Intel Core Ultra, so you can get the Core Ultra 5 or the Core Ultra 7 in this. Now, as for the memory or the RAM, it can go up to the maximum capacity of 32 gigs so it goes from 8 or 16 or the 32 gigs now as a top tip i recommend 16 gigs of your general use you can get an 8 gig version but that's really more for very specialized tasks that you'll really can perform but really for general use i definitely recommend 16 gigs for the memory and it is sold as a system board so you can't upgrade it later on so make sure you get to select the correct amount now as for storage wise it has one slot of m.2 it is using the 2230 format the display is a gorgeous generous 3k display it has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 and has a bright or luminous rating of 500 nits so it will be absolutely fine working outdoors now it is a glossy finish so you do get a bit of reflection when you're outdoors but still because of the nice 500 nits brightness you still be able to work and even with all that glare the display is wrapped with something new that you don't see that's on the market yet so most tablets and phones are wrapped with gorilla glass Five, but Dell has actually gone beyond and they've actually wrapped this up with Gorilla Glass Vicus, which is one of Gorilla Glass newest product, which is able to withstand much more better drops at two meters and also much more scratch resistance as well. So it's a much harder and tougher Gorilla Glass than Gorilla Glass 5. And this is probably the first tablet or product that actually runs off Gorilla Glass Vickers. So good on you, Dell, for going beyond and actually gone for with the newest, latest product. Measuring the color gamma coverage of the 3K display, it resulted with 95.7% sRGB coverage, 68.4% Adobe RGB coverage, and 70.8% DCI P3 coverage. Looking at the ports, starting on the left hand side of the detachable, we have the audio port, increase and decrease volume button. And then we have the Thunderbolt 4, which is a USB Type-C port. And then we have the security lock slot. And looking at the right-hand side of the detachable, we have another Thunderbolt 4 port, which is, again, USB Type-C. This is a recording from the 1440p webcam from the Dell Latitude 7350 detachable. This is the video and the audio unedited so you can hear and see what the quality of webcam is like. Now, I'd like to commend Dell for actually putting a high-def webcam in their commercial computers. A 1440p webcam is absolutely fantastic. I usually ask for a full HD or 1080p webcam, but they've gone beyond and actually put a much high-def webcam, which is absolutely fantastic. As I can always scale back, but I can't really increase it if it doesn't have the capable hardware. So I'm definitely great job there Dell. Now I am in a shaded environment but it is well lit and you hopefully be able to see the difference in the two exposures and I also have the AR removing the background noise as I am in the outside a little bit windy but not too bad. Now I'm actually going to turn the reduction of background noise off so this is what it sounds like without the noise reduction and this hopefully you'll hear the environment and the ambient noise and I'm now going to turn noise reduction back on so hopefully 
you actually hear the difference of the two of the noise reduction and non-noise reduction. So definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this 1440p webcam. Put a comment below. There are two front-facing speakers. They're located on either side of the display. And when I test the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to peak at 82.8 decibels. Now this is reasonably volume, sound quality of the speakers. We do have some bass. It's not strong, but at least it's present and we do have some strong mids it's balanced towards the mids and highs and we've got a bit of reverb it's got an okay acoustics and we shouldn't have any issues listening to the audio anywhere 360 degrees of this 7350 detachable but i've got to say the audio is not at ipad level but at least it's actually decent enough to listen to the Latitude 7350 detachable comes with a 46 and a half watt hour battery. And when I test out the battery life, it managed to get 10 hours and 10 minutes for modern office battery life tests in PC Mark 10, 2 hours and 35 minutes for gaming, and 10 hours and 21 minutes for video playback in the Procom battery life test. Now, this is what I consider all day battery life on this detachable. As for the build construction of the Latitude 7350, I might as well touch on the sustainability of Dell and their program. And for the back cover of the Dell Latitude 7350, it is made of magnesium and it actually has 90% recycled magnesium. As for the kickstand, it is aluminium and that has 75% recycle aluminium that it's made of and which actually feels really nice still and for the battery it has 50% recycled cobalt now as for the power adapter they've actually also done a fair bit of work on the actual sustainability the, the actual plastic it is 95% Pulse consumer recycled plastic and the thermal shielding inside here, which is aluminium, that is 98% recycled aluminium in the thermal shielding on this power adapter. Absolutely great to see Dell are uh, really taking the sustainability really seriously. Now, to test out the build construction, now this is something you probably won't want to do, and I'm going to just do it anyway. We're going to try and bend this thing, see how well this is structured. Ooh does take a fair bit of grunt there, even the twist. Oh, I'm putting a fair bit of that. You would not, should not be able to do that, but I am able to do it and it still feels really structurally strong. Do very well. Now as for the hinge wise, I, this is one of the big things I felt very, have definitely made a big improvement is the hinge here. Feels really nice and sturdy, really robust here as well. And just to give you an idea how far you can push this out so i'm just gonna push this up just so i can give an idea of that so it goes really really low here i think maybe about in like five so degrees that's really low here but you will not be using it low like that because quite simply once you have the keyboard detached from this uh, you won't be able to keep this detached with the keyboard here as a magnet won't and you kind of need to have around about to here and that's as far as it really go after that it will actually start detaching from it as that just popped out as you can see from there Dell have added this tape here at the back of the kickstand which helps with the structure and also the movement of the kickstand and helping with the hinge it just feels a lot more what I say strong and has a nice rigid feel to it and it's quite robust which is really nice to see this tape one of the improvements I can suggest for Dell is to actually have some stronger magnets on the keyboard cover. Now, I know this is probably because of the fact that now that we've got a digital stylus hidden in here, and uh, normally would I actually have another magnet here to help it out, but now we are only got two magnets on the side here, so if they can just be stronger here, I'm just going to su suggest that. The reason for that is because when you actually lift this up, you'll see that it comes off very quickly. And if you lift up too quickly like this, it comes off straight off and very quickly so it's something you just could be aware of uh, when you're so don't lift this up very quickly just kind of lift it up slowly uh, as you come through and but saying so it is a quite strong structurally so i'm going to put a lot of weight here uh, and you can see that's still holding there very nicely i'm going to put this even lower again that will give it even more structure there but i'm going to put it up to this sort of length here and get that's still quite strong in that thing, but it's just the lifting ability uh, for it. So it's just something you've got to be aware of. So just stronger magnets on this side here 
and this magnet arm that keeps the keyboard cover attached is quite strong enough so I think that's all right just having an extra strongness more for that so it doesn't kind of pop itself it's kind of off it just stays like that more as much as it can rather than just say I'm just gonna it's just barely not even there so it's not an activated and I can't even use the keyboard cover until I put it up here and then maybe I can use the keyboard color you can see it's light up there so I know it's activated that's just a suggestion there one of the nice new features of the Latitude 7350 is the collaboration touchpad now this is present in the Ultra and Dell's nice enough to include it in the detachable in this keyboard cover now this will actually automatically pop up this feature as you join a Zoom or Teams meeting now you do need to have a school or work account for Teams, but with Zoom, it doesn't matter what type of account you're working. Now I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm going to join into this Zoom meeting here, and it will just ask me for the passcode for this meeting. So I'll just type that in quickly. And as we join in, you'll see this new collaboration features here. So this will come up as we just join this Zoom meeting here, and you'll see these new features. So I'm just going to join this with audio. Now you may see an echo from the other computer as that is kind of close by. So here we go. We've got the new features down right here and I'm just going to mute the microphone as it is carrying the microphone from this computer. It's just touch back straight away. You don't hear any echo, but you see that I've actually muted without having to do something. And I can do open the chat box here. I can just close it and I can turn off my camera as that is now turned off. I can turn it back on. It's just nice little things that's on the touchpad. I can share my screen. Now in this Zoom meeting, I can't share the screen, but that is the share screen button. And then you can choose which screen to share. So this is the new collaboration tool on the touchpad. Absolute nice, fantastic feature from Dell. Looking at temperatures and fan noise, when I took my measurement, the ambient temperature room was 18 degrees Celsius. Just to give you a reference point, my hand was anywhere between 35 to 36 degrees Celsius. Hopefully it gives you an idea how hot or how cool this computer could be. So I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest air around the display measured in a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, stay dead silent at 35 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 44 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% lower on the computer, it's pretty much average use. So that's tasks like office productivity work, surfing web, streaming video, and the hottest air around the display measured a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius and still would say pretty much dead silent at 35 decibel and the average internal core temperature was 59 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest air around the display measured a maximum of 40 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it did spin up a little bit and measured a maximum of 36 decibels. So still quite quiet and the average internal core temperature was 73 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer and the hottest air around the display measured a maximum of 39 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 37 decibels. So still what I considered quite quiet, very reasonable, and the average internal core temperature was 71 degrees Celsius. Then I put the computer in ultra performance mode to allow it to be at its maximum potential and the hottest air around the display measured a maximum of 41 degrees Celsius. As for the fan, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 43 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 86 degrees Celsius. I also measure the back cover where I had 100% load with the ultra performance mode and the hottest air around the back cover measured a maximum of 51 degrees Celsius and of course it stayed at 43 decibels. The overall operating temperatures and fan noise while this computer is in normal operation mode without being in performance mode is very respectable. Is quite cool and not really loud at all. Just explaining the airflow on the Latitude 750 detachment. It comes from, from the sides and then it goes upwards. And it also has intake air from underneath the kickstand. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the intake air from the sides here. And then you'll see it come out from the top on both sides here. So it's around about this sort of gap on both sides. 
and there's also an intake air from the bottom from the kickstand which you'll see some three holes here which are intake air so actually it gets the flow air will come up and also from the sides and then you'll see the two fans from here that spins and then it goes out that way here now I'll just show you an internal diagram which Dell have nicely provided me so I can actually show it to you what it looks like internally because the Latitude 7350 has an MPU, which is the Neural Processing Unit, it means that this is an AI PC. So it's ready for the future. And I just want to do a quick demonstration of the MPU and its tasks that could perform. Now, what it is, is try and do AI tasks to offload from the processing unit. So the CPU, so it is more efficient at doing it and also hopefully much more quick at doing it because it is a specialized component in the computer to actually handle AI tasks. Now, one of the AI tasks that you will hopefully be able to see straight away now is under Windows Studio Effects. Now, this is actually going to target the camera. So I'm just going to show that to you. So here we can see the MPU in this Core Ultra 5 134 u processor you see the mpu here and then the processor now i'm just going to actually turn on the studio effects so you can find even in your teams or zooms this will actually invoke it but this is just the camera so this you'll be able to see now i'm actually going to turn on the background effects now you see this is got blurring as you can see this is now doing the blurring straight away and you can actually straight away see the mpu kick in and it actually is taking this task of blurring rather than the processor unit that usually do this blurring task and you can see it's actually really quick at doing it uh, i'm actually flying very quickly but you actually see it is actually performing very well now you also find the auto framing is actually performed by this as well so this is actually because this also has a nice 1440p webcam this has a lot of option for the webcam so it's actually quite wide so i'm just going to just do this so you see how it's actually now trying to frame me in the thing so i'm just gonna, it's auto framing there i'm not doing anything at all with my two hands so it is just framing by itself with the black brown blurring now eye contact here just going to give you an idea what eye contact is it just helps you appear to be looking directly at the camera or well, maybe i'm not looking at the camera directly and i may be looking down here so maybe trying to help you out with that ai so i'm just going to turn that on just so you can see so let's see what that kind of looks like uh, i'm now just going to look down to the left and look to the right and i'm actually now looking directly at the camera here well just give me an idea of the mpu there is a digital styles for the latitude 7350 detachable and this is stored and hidden on the keyboard cover and you just need to unlock it so on side here and then you'll see the digital styles now this is the active pen pn 7350n and it's pretty much got the shape of a carpenter's pencil. It's nice and flat. I actually really like holding this and writing on it. And it's actually really nice. And it does have a one button here, which you can customize in the Dell Active Pen software. And you'll see there's the charging prongs, and you'll see there's actually two. Now, it doesn't really matter which side it is. It is magnetic. Uh, you can charge it on any of these side of this. Has uh, it's really really quickly that it can snap in. Really nice here. Now what's really interesting is that 30 seconds on this charging ports here will actually charge this active pen to 100%. That's really really quick. It's quite amazing here. Now we're going to perform the line jitter test. Uh, I'm not an artist, so I'm going to do my best to do some diagonal lines, slow diagonal lines and it's actually looking not too bad i've got one palm on the display and i'm just doing this very slowly some quick ones here so that's not too bad i'm going to actually bring in a ruler now i'm only going to have one palm on the display let's just see how that runs off I'm going to have two palms on the display, so there's quite a number of touches now. So just see how this performs, it's doing okay here. And I'll do some horizontal lines, just to freehand first. Oh, sorry, I've just actually touched the bottom of the screen, that's just my fault there. So I've just gone too close to the bottom where there is toolbars, but that's not too bad. Some quick ones here and I'll just do some on the 
Now I've only got one palm on the display for this. Just so you can see, that's actually quite straight. It's doing pretty well with the palm rejection. Now I'm going to do some swirls. See how that runs. It's quite smooth. And seeing the actual display, I'm actually doing all right here with the actual feel of this. We do have also pen sensitivity as well, pretty good. I've just changed the brush type and I'm just showing you the sensitivity. So this is me pushing very lightly on the display and now I'm going to start pushing hard into the display. And light, hard, light, hard. Just going to do some quick writing here. One of the reasons why I prefer the Latitude Detachables compared to the Surface Pros, now this is my opinion and my experience here in Australia, so don't get me wrong, it may be different in other countries, but this here in Australia, my experience is the actual serviceability of the Dell compared to the Microsoft. Now, with the Dells, you can get on-site support and also get on-site text to actually replace components of these units whereas with the Microsoft it's a more of a replacement program where you send the, the faulty unit and they'll send you a refurbished unit. I actually prefer having on-site tech to actually replace parts of it and the Dell Latitude 7350 detachable is even more surface than before. Now it does have a pop replaceable display and it doesn't use any glue so your local techs can even replace the display if they are certified. It just requires some plunges still, but at least there's no glue. And we also have a replaceable battery and replaceable storage and also the WAN is replaceable. So I absolutely love the actual on-site replaceability for this Latitude 7350 detachable. Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the Latitude 7350 detachable. Here's the result for Passmark, Citibench R23, PC Mark. 3D Mark, Cross Mark, Crystal Disc Mark, Geekbench 5, Geekbench 6, Geekbench ML, Procon Office, Procon MPU, Procon Video Edit, Fugit Photoshop, Luxmark, Furmark, Eugene Engine, SpecView Pref 2013, SpecView Pref 2020. Fidel Latitude 7350 Detachable. What a wonderful product this is. It's definitely a big improvement from its predecessor. We've got a gorgeous 3K display with good sounding speakers and I definitely love typing on the keyboard with this new feature of this collaboration touchpad is definitely a nice winner for meetings for Zoom and Teams meeting here. We've got a good digital stylus. Love the shape of it. It definitely has a nice feel on the display as you write and also that fast charging is just crazy there and we also have a nice thermal system. Dell put a lot of work in the thermal system and it definitely shows so it has really nice temperatures and very well controlled fan noise here on this Latitude 7350 detachable. Absolute fantastic. The only improvement I would like to see is probably just some more stronger magnets as you can see. Let's just pick it up and it's just something you just got to be aware of is as it's just something I just wish there was just more stronger magnets on either side as usually there's free magnets but because of where the pen is it's actually now taken that way. So I just wish it had a little bit more stronger magnets but definitely the build quality of the Dell Latitude 7350 detachable is just premium. Even though we've used a lot of recycled materials to help create this product, and it's great to see they've actually done a lot of work in sustainability. I definitely applaud them for that really nice work there on using more recycled materials, and it still feels absolute premium product here. Making it more serviceable, I really love the ability that it's really more serviceable than before. Definitely what a winner there. But overall, what a great package this Dell Latitude 7350 detachable is. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me, share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.